Hello, hello, this is Pigsy in the video. I've got something now. So, yeah, this is one of the items I've got. Here's the main item which I'm going to show you. Scouts and Uh, Freemasonic. I don't know if it's gold actually. Could be brass. So I'll just pop that back in my bag. And let's get my nose. It gets slide down the bloody chair. There we go. Oh, what's this? The Holy Bible. This is very interesting. What I've got this. This is to do with the Eastern Star, the Order of the Eastern Stars. Oh, yes. Um, the book smells like white sage, it's pretty bonkers. But it's a bit of an extra discovery, isn't it? In that you might notice female names, and that is because this particular order deals with um it's for females, which is something interesting, and it explains the source and how it's developed. And that it basically the order of the Eastern Star grew out of a number of attempts to form an organization of adult women composed of wives, daughters, mothers, sisters, and widows of master masons. In most any recognised the reference book uh, will be found interesting paragraphs grouped under the following headings. So it's got adopted masonry. Um, you got the French right, I think. Yeah, so in all that masonry, Holy Virgin, heroine of uh, Jericho Masons, daughters, um, of Jerusalem, uh, Sweet Briars, um, Daughters of Zion, Daughters of Zephalada, and uh, Daughters of Bethlehem, Cross and Crown, Lady of the Cross. So there's lots of different things. So this doctor is a Dr. Um, Morris, I think. Yeah, that's it, Dr. Robert Morris. Um, yeah, he was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, 1818, which is an interesting date. He's also August uh, 31st. So, you know, if we talk about Wigtown women being independent, I mean, they probably all get caught up with new developments and technologies. Like, you know, there's issues where if you give people new freedoms they never had, um, what they become, basically. That's why people were... People like to have a form of bondage, something where they're held accountable to something else they like some sort of um, controls in which they try to overcome these sort of barriers but if they're given everything in advance i don't think they value it so there's lots of interesting stuff in there um, and there might be some variations to uh to the normal an old bible i've only got maps at the back of it i don't know if other bibles have them I like the, the gold um, on it as well. And it's strange, it smells of white sage. And um, like I say, it was given to someone in March, the 8th of March, 1967. So, um, so yeah, definitely, definitely going to be an interesting read. And it might be to help develop whatever I develop next on um, thought my putting some religious books. Look at that, it's like Ukrainian colours there. Yeah. <laughs> some white in it as well. Mm, very interesting. So that was a little buy on the old um, eBay, so that's quite interesting. So, anyway, this will probably be a short one. So this is a big sign-off. Have a great one. Speak to you soon, mate.